Nairobi, 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 weka. Nairobi, Nairobi, Nairobi. Homer Bay Senator Otieno Kajwang seems to be next on the Jubilee Coalition's list of former cabinet ministers in the Grand Coalition government. Who are being probed for transactions during their tenure. 30 Jubilee Coalition members of Parliament, during a news conference at Parliament buildings, claimed they had evidence linking Kajwang to abuse of office and illegal issuance of sensitive national documents during his five year stint at Nyao House. I can tell uh, the my good friend Senator Kajwang, that you better start compiling your 1,000 work permits you have revoked. But very soon we will produce the 500,000 work permits and passports and citizenship that you have issued irregularly by getting corrupt money either through bank transactions, which we have, through the empress of your phone, and through the checks that you received through proxies. The Jubilee team claims that under Kajuang's watch, thousands of passports were dished out to aliens and compromised national security. They claim that there are 104 illegal immigrants who were deported during the Operation Usalama Watch that kicked off in June had been irregularly issued with passports and work permits before March last year. Fifteen senior immigration officials were sacked by Interior Affairs Cabinet Secretary Joseph Olelenku for alleged impropriety. And who's... Tenure and docket, whose tenure and docket and the period he served was the period when Kenyan national registration documents were given to foreign mercenaries, were given to aliens who their purpose was not even shown in the work permit. But Kajuang has always insisted that he diligently followed the law during his reign as immigration minister and dared anyone with evidence linking him to illegal issuance of travel documents and work permits to use it to file a case against him in court. Court members of parliament have questioned the government's sincerity in the fight against corruption and accused it of political witch hunt by targeting Kajuang and his CIA Senate colleague James Orengo, who is accused of overseeing the irregular allocation of 500,000 acres of land in Lamu County to 22 private entities during his reign as lands minister. What even makes me shocked more is that any time you hear anything has gone wrong in this country, it went wrong on ministries that were being run by ODM party in the last Grand Coalition. You never hear anything that went wrong in the Ministry of Finance that was being run by the President, which we very well remember the 10 billion topogra to topographical errors in the budget. Will Duala and his team make real their threat of unleashing evidence against Kajuang, or was it just political showmanship? Francis Gashuri, Citizen Business Center.